The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. This collector came to my office this week, and he's one of these Yushalmis who's like very, very sharp. And he always comes to talk Tyra. So he comes into my office, and I'm about to give him a check, and he says, before you give me the check, would you mind if I ask you a question on the Haggadah? And it's the easiest question you ever heard. But if you can't answer it, if you can answer it, I don't want the check. But if you can't answer it, I want double. Keep on mind. This is my game. I said, it's an easy question. He said, it's the most passionate question you ever heard on the Haggadah. I'm like, bring it on. Let's go. Okay. You got a deal. Okay. So he says the following. He blew me away. He says, you know, Chagadja is ready when you're half asleep. Right? It's really not fair. The whole part after the, after the meal, the whole part, you know, it, 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 takes to, it, it takes to get from the beginning of the Seder till uh, Bayenu takes us about five and a half hours. It takes from benching till um, Chagadja about five and a half minutes. So I think maybe we should start one year from the, the beginning of the Seder should be Chagadja. And then next year we should start with Holach Manya. Because who else, who else Chagadja? A couple of Mekubalim wrote a couple of Svarim on it, but who else Chagadja? Right? The Zavan Avah betrays Zuzay. HaKadosh Baruch was the Ava. The Trey Zuzay is the Luchais. That he was kind of us. The Yishos, he was kind of us as his wife. Betrays Zuzay, which is a, which fine, everybody knows a Kabbalistic thing. So he said, okay, he said, so what happened? So the guy who was us, along came a cat. Maybe a bobcat, not a little cat. And it ate the guy, you know. Okay. And then along came a dog. It's normal. Dogs eat cats. And ate the cat. Along came a stick and hit the dog. Then came a fire, burnt the stick. It's a very nice story in the water, eh? And, uh, along came the cow and drank the water. You are the pictures in the back of your Mahagada. And then came the shaykhet. And he killed the cow. And the next picture I always skipped as a kid. I used to cover it. The Mahamabas. Because there wasn't any scary pictures with blood at the end of the sword. I don't know who wrote these. I got this. I was a little teeny kid with skulls and bones. I'm like, what is that? You know, because the, the, the way they show the Malcolm Lewis is this skull and bones. And, and I, I was a kid. I was like, like, you know. So and then Hashem came and whacked the, the Malcolm Lewis, right? Okay. He says, so everything's pretty natural. He says, I have a kasha. So the catch, but I saw it came and I ate the gadra. The dog was also, right, cowboy? And it ain't the Shunra. How did the stick get there? Do you think? Well, also, Kutra, they had the eagle of Kalba. The stick came and hit the dog. One second. Sticks don't walk. It's not Stamakasha. He says, so everything else makes sense. Fire, right, rages. You go from one place to the other, so it's going to burn the stick. Water overflows and put out the fire. He says, everything on its own energy could do what it's supposed to. But well, what's this thing you're saying? And the stick came and hit the dog. Sticks don't come and hit dogs. It should say, and a person came with a stick in his hand, and he hit the dog. Now, I'm 57 years old, Kenai Nahara. I'm at least reading the Haggadah for 53 years. And I'm like, what? <laughs> How did I miss this? <laughs> he says, double the check. <laughs> I did it. He got me. I'm like, all these years, I'm saying the stick came, but a stick can't come. It doesn't walk. He says, you want to hear the turrets? I said, of course I want to hear the turrets. <laughs> the says, nay, you dick. He says, the Baha Gada wrote it this way for a reason. It's because when you read the story, it's all natural things. Yeah, even kids understand it. Cats eat dogs, right? I mean, dogs eat cats. Cats eat, you know, if it's a big bobcat, eats a little Nebuchadnezzar, a right, a, a, a goat. St- sticks, you know, hit dogs and fire and burn sticks and water puts out fire. And yeah, and it all makes sense. But there's something about a gun to put in the middle that makes no sense. That a stick showed up and hit a dog on its own. So all of a sudden you raise your eyebrows and you're saying, one second, something here is not natural. Must be. But if the stick hit the dog, Hashem was holding the stick. Because actually each one of these things, the dog and the cat, was a, was a gullus that we were in. 
So well, we got out of the goal. Oh, sure, the Roman Empire fell apart. The Greek Empire fell apart. The Babylonian Empire fell apart. They all fell apart. No! No! The stick hit the dog. There's a hand. There's someone behind that stick. And stick can't do anything on its own. So you can't use the excuse, well, that's nature. It's natural. Things happen. Things blow up. Doesn't have you well. Ha-ha, what can you do? No smoke alarm. Right? You can look at everything and make it natural. So the Bible goes to put something and said, no, nothing is natural. The cat biting and the dog biting and the fire and the shaking and the wood, all this stuff is not natural. Just like the stick has no one to help it to hit the dog, but it ended up hitting the dog anyway because the hand that hit the dog, the, the, the elder stick, is a hand that you don't see. It's the hand of a Kurdish Baruch Hu. And I was like, I'll triple your check now. Wow. And at the end of the Haggadah, what better lesson of Chagadja at the end of the Haggadah when you're talking about all these different things that happen in a person's life to understand that even the stick that hits, even when we go through a Madeifa, when we go through things that hurt, and so many people in this generation are going through things that hurt, so much sickness, so much divorce, there's so much hurt. Don't think it's natural. Oh, there's more cancer in the world because of power lines in Muncie. But the kid was born with cancer and the baby's a month old. What kind of power lines? Definitely wasn't smoking or eating fatty foods. So what's your excuse now? So at the end of the Haggadah, at the end of the Haggadah, what's the Seder? The Seder means life. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.